Aloha, I'm Kala E. Miller and welcome to this special in-flight edition of Ocean Paddler TV on Hawaiian Skies. Today we're taking you to New York City for a very unique outrigger paddling event, the Hawaiian Airlines Liberty Challenge. Paddlers descend on the Big Apple from all over the globe to battle it out along the East and Hudson Rivers with a backdrop of downtown Manhattan and the Statue of Liberty. suitcase New York New York we're here in New York City we're here for the Hawaiian Airlines Liberty Challenge and Team Primo has come along with uh, some other crews from around the world. There's some guys here from France, some California crews along with the people here in New York. The logistics of getting here is uh, not an easy feat, but Hawaiian Airlines was a huge help for us and we flew out of Honolulu and we flew into JFK and getting on the buses and the trains and the cabs, it, it's not something easy, you know? We're kind of a bunch of fish out of water up here. I mean, I don't even know what direction I'm going over here. At least in, in the islands, you know, east, west, north, south, you know, it's all good. Here, I wouldn't know if I'm going down, up, north, south, west, or what. So it's, uh, it's quite interesting. It's pretty fun, keeps you on your toes. Well, we brought six guys with us from Primo, Kekoa Kramer, Kai Bartlett, Mike Judd, Scott Gamble, Philippe Gomes, and myself. You know, I had no idea what to expect coming here with the paddling and just the transportation, getting here, bus, train, subway, walking-wise. It's crazy, man. People from New York are one of a kind. At first, you're a little timid from everything just because you really, you know, like I said, you don't know where you're going, where you're at, what, but, you know, after a couple days, it, it starts to get, things start to happen. The weather conditions are very hard to predict here, and we have everything from incredible heat just two days ago we had 110 degrees out here this year we had a really interesting and dramatic weather change just over the last couple of days they had a very low 30 percent chance of thunderstorms and we just had a torrential downpour yesterday and the amas started to float up it was a really interesting experience There are seven crews that came from Hawaii to participate in the Liberty Challenge. And coming to a city like New York is more than just about the paddle. They're shopping, they're eating, they're going to the Brooklyn Bridge, the Statue of Liberty, and all this stuff. These are icons of this incredible city that they really can't believe that they're a part of. And then just to experience the whole city life and, and what the New York Outrigger is about and that they do the same stuff that we do at home. You know, it's just been awesome checking out all the buildings and skyscrapers and just something fresh and new for all of us. The Hawaiian Airlines Liberty Challenge attracts paddlers from all over the mainland U.S., Hawaii, Brazil, Canada, Australia, France, Tahiti, and even Panama, making it a truly international event. 
It's divided into three main categories. The men and women, they race 15 miles, and the mixed crews race a slightly shorter 11 mile course. So let's dive right in to the women's and mixed crews events. So today we're here in New York City for the Hawaiian Airlines Liberty Challenge, where we have teams competing from around the world in an outrigger canoe race in the New York Harbor. The men's and women's race uh, is 15 miles long. It starts right across the river on the Manhattan side underneath the Manhattan Bridge and then around the lower Manhattan, and then it goes up the Hudson River to right around where the Empire State Building lies, and then it goes straight down and end up right in front of the Statue of Liberty. And then after that, it goes around what's called Governor's Island, and right over here where it finishes right in front of the Brooklyn Bridge Park, right under the Manhattan Bridge. East Coast Paddlers is the premier event. It's a real chance for everybody to come in really challenging conditions. We as a New York club, we're so incredibly excited to have so many incredibly good paddlers from all over the world here. So one of the biggest things for me is always when I walk through New York and I see people randomly with paddles in their hands walking across Times Square. It's incredibly great. It's incredibly exciting. People here have never seen an outrigger canoe before, so they're, they're, they just are inquisitive. So it's not uncommon for a large sailboat or a powerboat to just come zooming right in next to an outrigger, and, and they're in the middle of a race. The course for the Liberty Challenge is incredibly interesting and very different from all other outrigger races that I've ever been to. This race is very competitive because uh, we want to win this race because it's very important to uh, come back in France with uh, the first place. We want to have the first place, but I don't know, I hope. <laughs> for outrigger paddling is you don't feel like you're on a team and you just meet a couple times a week and then you go away and what people do outside of it doesn't really matter you know what their politics are what their backgrounds are they paddle and they contribute to make the boat do what it needs to do We'll continue to follow Team Primo as they explore New York City and visit the new site of the World Trade Center and a recently completed 9-11 memorial. We're walking down to the Trade Center site um, it's, it's, it's pretty impressive. We, uh, you know, I just remember that image when back in 2001, I thought it was like some new movie coming out. So seeing all that and, and now being here, it's, I never thought I'd ever make it here. I mean, that is, that is a beautiful piece of work too though. Jeez. I'm a firefighter stationed at Captain Cook um, on the, the Big Island. And right now we're at the site of the 9-11 Memorial. So, you know, it's, this is really just truly a place for healing now and for all the families who lost their loved ones, whether they were employed in this area or they came as a rescue, you know, it's really just a, it's a, it's a healing place for our country.
tensions are running high as crews from all over the globe are preparing to battle it out with race favorites, Team Primo from Hawaii. for this race is always really exciting because we get some top teams from around the world. This year is especially exciting because we have Team Primo here and everyone's, you know, of course it's, it's great to see those types of athletes. But the other teams as well, they're super exciting. Mana Weva, Senior Masters men, always show everybody, you know, they lead the way every year. And Team Brazil, that's another exciting team that we're, you know, is going to be good on the water. And then Teva from France, the top paddlers in France here this year to represent Europe. It means for the East Coast and for us here in New York, it means that we're actually able to compete against some of the best teams in the world. There are pockets of really high-end athletes in Washington, Boston, New York City. So we're always like looking at each other and marking up within our own East Coast Outrigger Racing Association. So when it brings people from Hawaii and Tahiti, it just takes it to a whole nother level. very very excited for this. this is a kind of condition that we are not used to it and probably going to do a lot of things like crossing boats over three knots of current here we are not used to this and we were seeing this morning a women's crew paddling up current and getting swept back they were just stuck in the middle of the river going backwards and not knowing if they knew that they were going backwards you know because they're fighting as hard as they can and you know even seeing primo crossing to go to the start line and they were getting swept down so quickly so you have to manage this and this is for us exciting uh, it's a, a new style of paddling uh, because in France we have always waves, no currents and uh, no boat crossing uh, the race. You know, there's a really long tradition of um, water sports on the East Coast. There's an old fisherman history. You know, you hear all these stories about, you know, the Atlantic crossings and the fishermen up in Massachusetts. Outrigger just fits right into that kind of culture and lifestyle. You know, even though it's Polynesian in descent. And with our rough rivers, the Outrigger canoe is, is a really perfect vessel for cruising around. You can't be out here on the Hudson River in a rowing shell. You really need an Outrigger canoe. What attracts people here in New York and across the East Coast to Outrigger paddling is the welcoming spirit that the Outrigger community brings with it. And Outrigger paddling is such an incredible team sport. You have to be yourself as an individual. You have to be very strong to be part of a good team. But then when you're racing a team, your entire team pedals together. You have to put your pedal in at the same split second. You breathe together, you win together, you lose together. It's a team sport, yet it's incredibly competitive. The Hawaiian Airlines Liberty Challenge was amazing today. We got to experience something totally different from what we're used to paddling in. Fishing lines that were dodging and ducking and buoys and boats ripping across the channels and us having to bob and weave around them. We're used to back home in Hawaii being the canoes are, you know, a priority here. It's like a flea on a dog, you know, a canoe. Everybody else is the big boss. It was really hard to to keep the timing and just with the Statue of Liberty so close to you, you know, it's hard not to just look up and want to check it out. It's the closest I've ever been to the statue ever and it's such an iconic statue that you had to look, you know. You're always told not to look out of the boat, but in this case I guess it was okay. Oh, well, New York experience, there's only one place in the world like New York, so to uh, be able to come up here and spend a few days here and tie in a canoe race and see the sights and visit the memorial, pretty awesome. It's such a great venue to be able to host this race right in the Brooklyn Bridge Park overlooking Manhattan. And everybody who's come to this race has always had a great time and just loves this area. So it's a very important uh, race for us and we're very happy to put the time and effort to making sure we do it every year.
Now that was a great outrigger canoe event. Congratulations go out to our winners. In the women's division, it was Hui Lanakila from Hawaii. In the mixed, New York Outrigger Canoe Club prevailed. And in the men's division, it was Hawaii's own Team Primo. For detailed race results, just check out libertyoutrigger.org. We'd like to send a special mahalo out to Olukai Premium Footwear, New York Outrigger Canoe Club, and of course, Hawaiian Airlines for making this coverage possible. Hey, have a great rest of your flight. I'm Kola'i Miller, and until next time, hoi pa.